welcome to medical globe this is dr hadi here uh, students today's topic is lipids and this is of course from the biochemistry today we will uh, uh, discuss the definition of the lipids a summary of uh, classification of lipids and the importance of lipids as well so let's start with the definition of the lipids i will repeat once again that today's lecture will be a simple classification because you can study the lipids classification in a very depth and detail that i can uh, i will record in my incoming lectures and today we will only discuss a, a simple idea a general concept a general concept about the classification of lipids so let's start it with a definition first in the definition of the lipids it is written as a heterogeneous group of organic compounds lipids are organic compounds no doubt but the word heterogeneous is something that we should focus it the word heterogeneous means that because the lipids contain different types of molecules different types of compounds are there you cannot define them precisely that is why we use the word uh, heterogeneous otherwise we would not use that this word heterogeneous and of course yes this is really this is really true that there are different uh, types of compounds a uh, complex compounds are there in the lipids uh, because of which we cannot define them precisely so we use the word heterogeneous but a simple definition still we have on the whiteboard that is these are the organic compounds which are relatively insoluble in water it means not absolutely insoluble relatively means they may show slight solubility in the aqueous media but overall they are insoluble so we use the word relatively so they are relatively insoluble in the in water but soluble in organic solvents organic solvents are like alcohol like ether like ketone so there are many organic solvents they are soluble in organic solvent this is wonderful definition so simple definition of the lipids so once gradually you will be with me we will discuss all the lipids all types of lipids all the structures in the upcoming lectures so you should not miss any lecture and therefore I, I, it would be necessary for me to tell you that subscribe and also press the bell icon so that any new video that i record will not notify you okay so after the definition we will come to the classification of the lipids this is actually the classification of lipids the lipids are classified uh, lip lipids is classified into four categories the first one is called as simple lipids second one is called as compound this is the third and the fourth category start with the simple lipids a simple lipid is the ester of two molecules two types of molecules that is one is the fatty acid and the second one is the alcohol today i cannot repeat my topic on the fatty acid i would suggest to check my video on the name of structure and types of fatty acid pause this video type the structure and types of fatty acid by dr hadi you will get that lecture once you got the fatty acid then come here don't uh, come to this lecture until unless you have some idea about the fatty acid so please go there type it and then come back here the combination of two compounds one is the fatty acid that i just write as f a f for fatty or acid fatty acid is a kind of acidic compound when it is combined with an alcohol with an alcohol so for simplicity for simplicity if i write here um, if i indicate the fatty acid with r c o o h this is really simple presentation of the fatty acid r c o h and if it, if it is combined with the alcohol alcohol can be written as r there is single oh so when these whenever these two compi compounds combine together they will give us a new family of compound which is called as ester which is called as 
ester. So whenever any new compound is formed, that will be called as an ester. So simple lipids are actually the ester of fatty acid and alcohol. So what are the example of uh, simple lipids? The example of the simple lipids we have, we have two example. One is mm, fats and oil. Fats and oil. Fats and oils. These two are actually same thing. Thus, there is a difference of physical nature that fat is solid at room temperature while oil is liquid at room temperature. Both these two things are same. These are simple lipids. Okay. And then the second example is the wax. Waxes. Waxes. You might have seen that. Uh, in the candle in cosmetics right in cosmetics all of these some these are used in the cosmetics as well as uh, in candles a wax is also an ester it's again an ester but inside the wax you will find uh, fatty acid what kind of long chain fatty acid long chain fatty acid long chain fatty acid and there will be an alcohol with the name of special alcohol called cetyl alcohol cetyl alcohol remember in simple lipids in place of alcohol you will use another special alcohol called glycerol called glycerol a glycerol is an alcohol which contain three carbon one two three carbon and every carbon is attached with one OH group that is why we call it the glycerol so whenever glycerol combine with the uh, short chain fatty acid that will give us um, fats and oil fats and oil well when long chain fatty acid, here was short chain fatty acid, long chain fatty acid combined with cetyl alcohol this is not glycerol it's a special alcohol called cetyl alcohol and you will see these in my lectures cetyl alcohol when these two are uh, combined together then we will get waxes so both waxes fats and oil these are easters actually so those were the simple lipids now come to the second category compound lipids a compound lipid contain is uh, some additional group means it contain fatty acid it contain fatty acid just like in simple lipids it also contain alcohol just like simple lipids okay these two are present but the third category is there is an additional group additional group may be this may be a phosphate group maybe a phosphate group and this may be a nitro genus uh, group and there may be some kind of uh, protein there may be some kind of cho means carbohydrate so when these two are already present there and a third uh, substance addi as additional group is also attached we call them a compound lipid we have a very good example special example of compound lipids and dear students, once again, I will tell you that we will we we, we will uh, discuss all these uh, compound lipids with the structure with the structure. You can just type. Uh, maybe up to that day, I will I would have already recorded my all these lectures, but you will find the structure of each and every one one by one. Today is just a summary. Additional group that is. So what are the example? Number one is a phospholipids. Here there's like a look at that. Here is lipids and is a phospho phospholipids. And then we have glycolipids. You can see there is glyco and then lipids. Glyco means for carbohydrate and then there is a lipid. Lipo and protein. Again this is lipid and protein. So lipids combination with protein this is compound lipid. Uh, uh, carbohydrate with lipids this is compound lipids and and so on now the derived lipids derived lipids are those lipids which come to us by the which come to us by the uh, hydrolysis hydrolysis of 
सिंपल लिपिड्स कैटेगरी नंबर वन सिंपल लिपिड्स और कंपाउंड लिपिड्स कैटेगरी नंबर टू मींस इफ वी हाइड्रोलाइज मींस इफ वी हाइड्रोलाइज वी ब्रेक सिंपल लिपिड और इफ वी ब्रेक कंपाउंड लिपिड्स then in both the cases whatever we get that will be called as a derived lipid just uh, i will give you one example let's suppose let's suppose that uh, uh, here we have an ester let's suppose here we have an ester let's suppose here we have um, that is triglyceride let's suppose this is this is a glyceride triglyceride let's suppose this is tri glycerides let's suppose triglyceride is actually simple lipid right so if we hydrolyze it right if we hydrolyze it after hydrolysis it will be uh, break down and it uh, will give us what it will give us two thing one is the fatty acid and second one is the glycerol second one is the glycerol so this glycerol and fatty acid of course there will be three fatty acid and one glycerol this glycerol is derived lipid the fatty acid itself is derived lipid because fatty acid and glycerol will come to us once we hydrolyze simple lipids or compound lipid so you can hydrolyze if you hydrolyze whatever you get that will be called as derived lipid so the example is look look here fatty acid is a derived lipid glycerol is again derived lipid vitamins especially the fat soluble vitamins like vitamin a d e and k that is derived lipid and we have some hormones especially the the steroid hormones the steroid hormone these are also uh, derived lipids and now come to the miscellaneous compounds miscellaneous compounds are those compounds which uh, which possess properties of lipids but they are not lipids I mean there is no concept of fatty acid al alcohol so therefore they are lipids but because of the properties we bring them into the category of lipids still they they does not contain any kind of fatty acid or alcohol so these these are carotenoids and terpenes there is uh, a zyan time so i have to quit my lecture carotenoids and terpenes are example of miscellaneous here is the importance of the lipids fuel reserve membrane vitamins as i discussed hormones protection and insulation insulation means and around the around the blood vessel there is lipids which protect our body from change in the temperature so i hope you got the lecture uh, remember me in your prayers thank you take care allah face